Well, mentorship is an important part of any industry, and it's often the best way to learn the ropes. And this is very true in the film business, where making your first feature-length movie can be a bit daunting. So now, a winner of the new First Film Project joint initiative between Film Nova Scotia and Telefilm Canada is getting his chance at being mentored. He is Michael Ray Fox. The film is roaming. His mentor is Michael Melsky, and they both join us, along with the man who mentored Michael Melsky, Tom Fitzgerald, hi. Thank you all for coming in. Good morning. It's like pay it forward day, right? Mentor to mentor to mentor. Exactly. That's There's the idea. a certain logic. Yes. <laughs> it makes sense. So uh, let's just talk about you first. Congratulations sure. on winning the first film project. Hey, thank you. First of all. Right. all. So how do you feel? You're about to embark on a, yeah. a long journey. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's uh, it, it's a definitely exciting, exciting stuff. I mean, everything I've ever made has always been, uh, you know, just just do-it-yourself mentality, so I've often just kind of pump my own money into it and try to get it get it made one way or another. So it's uh, interesting to actually finally go through the process of uh, doing a doing a project through the through the the, the system, the No Film Nova Scotia Telefilm system. Yeah. So and you have actual funding. Actual, yeah, exactly. Actual which funding is behind it. Always nice. I have I have gotten funding, just not a heck of a lot. Right. Worth, and this yeah. is what one hundred thousand uh, dollars. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's all right. Okay. So. So, Michael Melsky, what's your first piece of advice to Michael Ray Fox? <laughs> Besides, don't do it. <laughs> well, you know, it's a great initiative that uh, Telefilm and Film Nova Scotia have come up with here. I wish it had been around when I was mm. making my first feature, but, you know, I was lucky enough to have a, a you know, a strong uh, producer in Tom for growing up. Um, my biggest advice to Michael would be when you don't have money, You've got to be even more prepared than you normally wouldn't. There's because you know things that go wrong on a film set, things can get a little crazy. Things cost more than you think mm -hmm. they will, and the more prepared you are, the better off you'll be and ready for whatever arises. So even if you do have money, you should be careful with that money. Tom, would you agree with that? Well. You know, obviously, uh, working within your parameters is very important. I would say, uh, by all means, try and enjoy the creative freedom that comes along with having no money. You will probably <laughs> never uh, have so few people looking over your shoulder as you will <laughs> making your first film. So, For sure, uh, I doubt it. flex all of your creative muscles, enjoy it, and don't listen to a word Michael says. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, Michael learned a lot from you, Tom. So what does that say? I never listened to a word he said either. <laughs> never. It's, never, it's never. kind of a tradition. Yeah. <laughs> Just so don't listen to your mentor as I, it goes it down the line. Seems to, you know, in life you have parents, in education you have teachers, and you don't listen to them. You rebel against every possible piece of influence or advice. So <laughs> this is your creative chance to ignore and <laughs> rebel. For sure, I'll, I'll bear that in mind, for sure. <laughs> Excellent. So let's talk a little bit about your, uh, when you did your first feature length mm -hmm. film, Growing Up, and mm -hmm. Tom uh, helped you out on that. Tell me a little bit about your experience and what you learned doing that film. Um, well, I I, uh, I didn't know Tom very well at that point, and uh, my co-producer at the time suggested that, that Tom might be a good exec producer and help strengthen the package, and I, and I thought, knowing Thomas' work and respecting it a lot, I, I didn't think the Growing Up would be, a, would be the kind of film he might like. And he st startled us all by really liking the project, and, and, and really at a time in my life when I was you know, involved in two different features that were getting close, uh, he just really you know, steered me in the right way and, and made me understand what was important in terms of what I what I, what I wanted, that I was in a position where I was able to kind of define what my future course would be, mm. and that was really good advice. So he, he's very self-effacing, uh, but uh, you know sometimes the right advice at the right time can change a person's life. Mm. So if I can have any kind of all, all kidding aside, you know if I can say anything that might help Michael avoid some of the mistakes I made, then great. Tom, you just finished uh, your latest film, Cloudburst, and mm -hmm. you finished uh, touring it, doing all kinds of interviews, working on it. Have you, did you learn anything from even just your latest film that you would pass along to Michael Ray Fox? <laughs> you never stop learning. Yeah. It's, uh, every film seems to bring an entirely different set of life and work lessons. Um, so uh, in this case, I guess I would say, what did I learn on this film? Um, 
you know, uh, it kind of goes back to uh, maybe at a certain point as well in the future, you also get to a point where uh, people will stop looking over your shoulder. So um, as you move forward in, in your career in second and third films, that seems to be the places where there's all kinds of uh, pressures to kind of uh, make things conform to the marketplace and uh, those kinds of things. So, Do you find you get more creative freedom now, the less people looking over your shoulder? Uh, uh, you know, I guess uh, every project is different and every bit of financing is different, so it depends right. on where the money comes from. But I think um, right now you'll be in a place where people have no expectations whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a good place perfect. to be. Uh, it's, I, think it's, I think it's true for the most part. It seems uh, it's a very... It's a very creative-driven project, and they uh, they seem to be very uh, very focused on uh, on uh, you know on, on allowing. Uh, it was kind of funny because I, I I kept saying like you know what what and I would talk to Gord at Telefilm and I would say you know what what are my limitations on on he was just like no no you know just as long as uh, as long as you're getting your vision out there and I was like really like I didn't think it works this way mm. probably doesn't it's probably just in this case maybe it does just for now. It's ultimately a very small amount of money that you're working with. Right. Um, Melsky could spend that before lunch on a single day. <laughs> Mel Melsky could spend that on lunch. <laughs> you're going to well, take I us do, off for I lunch? I have a little axiom that I've developed when I'm teaching on occasion. And it's that for every dollar you get, you get an opinion that oh. you have to deal with. Oh, interesting. So the more money you have, I mean, Tom more works at, at a higher level yeah. of budget. You know, he probably does deal with even you know with the credits he has with a lot of opinions. So having less money means you have less opinions to navigate. Yeah. Oh, so wow. mm. that can be a good thing. Yeah, interesting. I think it's important to listen to every opinion, but actually only believe your own. That sounds absolutely. like absolutely gather good the piece wisdom of and then decide what wisdom you're going to apply. There we go. When do you start filming roaming? Filming uh, December 1st, Ooh. which is coming oh, up soon. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, have fun with it. Oh, certainly will. And for have sure. fun mentoring him. <laughs> Do my best. <laughs> and thank you all for coming in to talk about this. Nice to see you. Yes, pleasure. Nice to see you, too. We're going to take a break here on CTV Morning Live. We will be back in just two minutes, so stay with us.